Yo, what's up guys? Recently, Clash of Clans did a Q&A on the Reddit, and today I'm just going to be going over the 10 main things that were discussed so you don't have to. Question number one, can we hope to see some quality of life improvement where we can use the heroes while they're being upgraded? And Supercell's response to that was, we know not being able to play with your upgrading heroes can feel frustrating. There's no tiptoeing around the fact that people using gems or books on upgrades is a major source of revenue for the game. Keeping the business side successful is what lets us support the game over the years and for many, many years to come. One of the biggest and frequent discussions we have on the team is how we can grow the game and this includes sources of revenue from alternative features. This will allow us to be less reliant on this revenue stream and change the hero upgrade availability in a way that doesn't massively negatively impact the business. Question number two, what about clan wars for builder base? Home village and clan capital have some kind of clan level engagement. Can we see something similar for builder base? And Supercell's response to that was, it would be nice to add some social or clan level features to Builder Base eventually. That said, 2024 is the year of the home village, and that's where we're focusing most of our efforts at the moment. Your home village is the heart of Clash of Clans, and there are many things we feel we need to address first. Following this, question number four asks, has the team considered something like an ore mine? that could function similarly to the builder base gem mine, or perhaps adding ores to the builder base loot table so players do more builder base attacks. We hope you'll address more ways to collect ores. And Supercell's response to that was, it's unlikely we'll add an ore mine as we like having ores be gained through active play. However, ores are bound to turn up in more locations over time. At the moment, we don't have any specific plans that we can share just yet. Question five asks, a while back, you surveyed us about chat changes. Is there any kind of update you can share with us regarding the results of those surveys? And Supercell's response to that is, we're hoping to chat about chat when we start talking about the next update. Not much was answered with this question. However, they do expand a little more with question number six. And question number six asks, will there be a new recruitment feature? It's really difficult to find new clan members or for players to find active clans. Have we considered a pre-templated global chat where clan leaders can post prefabricated messages such as US clan looking for a Town Hall 16 player for war? And Supercell's response to that is, we've started doing some preliminary groundwork on improving the recruitment system. We don't have anything we can share with you just yet as it's still in development. Sorry it took us this long to get it going, but we had to grow the team so we could have the bandwidth to focus on this. Along with question number five, question six kind of reveals a little bit about the future of Clash of Clans chats and how they might function. This is the first time in a long time that the player base is hearing some positive news on the global chat and a possible alternative. As dedicated Clash of Clans members already know by now that there is no chance the real global chat will come back. We hope for something similar, possibly an officer only chat for clans where leaders and co-leaders can discuss privately, or maybe a recruitment tab where there are pre-templated messages, or maybe even just a social tab where you can chat with all of your friends. These are just speculations, but one thing is for sure, that Clash of Clans needs to make a friendly challenge section or tab so people can stop spamming the chat with requests. Now, question number 11 asks another big topic that has just been recently introduced. Is the new Town Hall update schedule now 12 months instead of the roughly 18 months? And Supercell's response to that was, yes, it'll now be roughly a 12 month cycle between new Town Hall levels. There was no particularly strong reason for the 18 month cycle as the schedule. Moving it to 12 months helps us lower the upgrade times since town halls don't need to last as long as they have in the past. We also have a much larger development team which has allowed us to come up with new fun ideas for new town hall designs. We hope each year having a new town hall at a predictable time will create a more consistent experience for players. Now. This one is very crazy because a new town hall every year, I'm not really sure how players are going to be able to max out their new town hall. I mean, the time it takes for specific town halls like 14, 15, and 16 are still very, very lengthy, so we'll have to wait and see. Question number 12 asks, 
when can we expect clan name changes? Supercell's response to that was, it's not concretely scheduled in, as the same group who would be responsible for that are currently working on the recruitment changes, and as discussed above, those will take a while. It's also worth noting that after they're done with the new recruitment system, it's entirely possible that they may find a different feature that has higher priority than clan name changes. Question number 15 asks, is there a reason why we can't stack builders onto a single building to reduce upgrade times even if we pay a higher upgrade cost? And Supercell's response to that was a little bit goofy. The builders would get their hammers tangled up and nobody wants to see that happen. I feel like they're just trying to imply here that this is really not something that they were thinking of and not something that's going to be added as it kind of defeats the purpose of the game where they want you to progress a little bit slower as it's more enjoyable to kind of satisfyingly watch your upgrades happen and they want you to work on several upgrades at a time question 19 could we get a sandbox goblin map editor just to see what kind of mad ideas the community comes up with and supercell's response to that was surprisingly this could be super fun there are some user interface issues to solve and we need to do something so naughty players don't recreate your war base in order to practice against that. Letting players create their own challenges for other players to beat is something we've discussed on the team and we're quite fond of the idea. Question number 22. What are the associated downsides if the game map was expanded to allow more space for defenses? Now, I already covered this in one of my other videos, but Supercell's response to that is if the game map was expanded, everything would be smaller when fully zoomed. We already think villages are way too big and complicated and hard to read well. Everything being smaller would make this problem even worse. Additionally, we don't want to increase the amount of time available to complete an attack. Increasing the map size would put additional strain on how much time it takes to 3 star a base. Question number 29. Are there any viable proposed solutions to adding a fifth hero or more heroes? And Supercell's response to that was, while we do plan on adding more heroes in the future, being able to use more than four heroes per attack is unlikely. It would just be too strong. So we'd probably implement a system where you could only select four heroes at a time. How that system would work is still in early stages of development. Now, it's very interesting that Supercell actually might incorporate this into the game. I'm very excited to see what new heroes might actually come. And one last bonus question. Question number seven asks, progress bars? And Supercell's response to that is in progress. Thanks for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed. YouTube thinks you'll like these videos next. Peace out and take care.